Henry Ford was born July 30, 1863, and was the first of William and Mary Ford's six children. He grew up on a family farm in what today is known as Dearborn, Michigan. Henry enjoyed spending the days learning in a one-room schoolroom and doing farm chores. But at the early age, Henry showed an interest in mechanical things. At the age of 16, Ford left his home to work in a nearby city of Detroit as an apprentice machinist. For three years, he divided his time between operating or repairing steam engines, finding occasional work in a Detroit factory, and looking after his father's family farm. In 1888, Henry married Clara Bryant and supported himself and his wife by running a sawmill. In 1891, Ford became an engineer with the Edison Illuminating Company in Detroit. This event signified a conscious decision on Ford's part to dedicate his life to industrial pursuits. After his promotion to chief engineer in 1893, that gave him enough time and money to devote his attention to his personal experiments on internal combustion engines. These experiments culminated in 1896 with the completion of his own self-propelled vehicle, the quadricycle. The quadricycle had four wire wheels that looked like heavy bicycle wheels and was steered with a tiller like a boat that only had two forward speeds and no reverse. Here's a short clip on Henry Ford's quadricycle. In Detroit, a man named Henry Ford, who had left the farm and come to the city to tinker with machinery, was making what he called a quadricycle. It looked like a buggy, only it had no shafts for a horse to be harnessed to. The horsepower was going to come from a gasoline engine he'd made himself. He did everything himself, working nights and holding down a daytime job with the Detroit Illuminating Company. It took a long while to make this machine, but Henry Ford stuck to it. Finally, it was ready. One momentous night, he pushed it out for its first trial run. ghost-like and unreal, slitted the shape of things to come. If anybody had waked up and looked out the window, he probably would have thought he was still dreaming. Ford was not the first to build a self-propelled vehicle with a gasoline engine. He was, however, one of several automotive pioneers who helped this country become a nation of motorists. Two unsuccessful attempts to establish a company to manufacture automotives, Henry Ford founded and later incorporated the Ford Motor Company on June 16, 1903. Groups of two or three men worked on and produced only a few cars a day at the Ford factory on Mack Avenue in Detroit. Henry Ford realized his dreams of producing an automobile that was reasonably priced, reliable, and efficient would come true with his introduction of the Model T in 1908. This vehicle initiated a new era of personal transportation. It was easy to operate, maintain, and handle on tough roads, immediately becoming a huge success.
one thing that set Henry Ford aside from other motor companies was his decision to introduce the assembly line. It was a fast, cheap, and efficient way for him to mass produce his product. Here's a short clip. The night continued to come and the work went on, but it was changing and the night seemed farther away than ever. The emphasis altered. Now came production, the genesis of the great phenomenon, American industry. It demanded new ways of thought, a totally new set of values, and they were hard to find, for the values had no roots anymore. Now came the day of the engineers and the assembly line and the interchangeable part, the birth of the most wanted machine and the explosive discovery that the horseless carriage could be mass-produced into the tin lizzie. This was the first American Industrial Revolution, and its prophet was, of course, Mr. Henry Ford, Henry Ford I, who made cars like rabbits make rabbits, in great abundance, and for the multitude on the famous principle that you could choose any color you liked as long as it was black. He triumphantly represented the twin American ideals, ruthlessness and success. He stood for the great article of faith that said business and government were separate things and never the twain should overlap and that the genius of the businessman should dominate the paltry politician. Henry Ford created and managed what is now a multi-billion dollar company. It can be easily said that he is one of the greats when it comes to entrepreneurship. Ford is still one of the leading car manufacturers to this day. Style of Entrepreneurship Henry Ford is a social entrepreneur because he solved a problem that society was suffering from at the time. What made Henry Ford successful? Henry Ford was a dedicated hard worker that changed the future of cars forever. Not only did he find an efficient way to manufacture cars, he also made them affordable for many, which with that key factor would make any company successful. What traits made Henry Ford successful? There are many traits Henry Ford had that made him successful. However, creativity stands out the most. His ability to think outside the box and make decisions that no other company did is what set Ford Motors ahead of everyone else.